Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Yeah, this time I want to make a bowl and I got an order. I was at a market the other day and I got an order and I just thought I film what I'm doing. So I'm using the holographic fantasy mold tray from Molds and Shapes and I'm starting mixing my color. I'm using the Ultracast resin here. It's a medium viscosity resin and it has, has a rather long working time. So I'm also using the Blackout Resin Tint Max. It's a pigment paste I received from Etta Art. And I'm adding just a hint of the Samba Super Shift color from Dippon. It's a mica and look at that. I really love playing with those colors with the black and, and then the super shift in there. It's awesome. You only need a little bit on your popsicle stick and see what it does. And my second color is the um, gold Spirera. It's the interference gold from Laura's Art Corner. And I also love this very very much when you want to have a more natural effect in your resin art so this was also the color scheme the customer gave me she saw a, a bowl i did once i did also the video for it it is the shell shell or the scallop um, mold from molds and shapes and the form and i made a similar pour now i'm using the champagne glass bits from Laura's Art Corner, putting them into my cup. <clears throat> and I'm adding the black shells. Um, I'm sorry for my messy back there, but I used them already quite a lot. And I'm just pouring them into the cup. And I thought this is a nice mix for my center bit. So I really wanted to be rather looking natural because you have the holographic effect that's already shiny enough and then the natural well also the customer ones not just me so now i'm pouring a thin layer of resin into my tray mold and i'm just pouring enough so it's really covered just the bottom I didn't wait till I poured, I poured straight away and I can say with the ultra cast resin you get really awesome effects. I see that I get rid of some bubbles, also taking my heat gun <clears throat> and carefully go over my resin. Not too much so you are not damaging your mold or the resin, just very carefully. You see, I'm just picking some of my bubbles that are trapped onto the mold with my dotting tool and just quickly the torch. I heated up my resin a little bit when I was mixing it. Um, I was putting it into a warm water bath because it's getting rather cold over here and I find it better for the bubble release. So now I'm dividing my black super shift color into two cups because it's easier pouring when the cup is not so full. And you see I'm pouring from rather up high into a thin stream, um, stream or with this thin stream stream <laughs> I'm sorry and I'm just going around the mold if I'm sounding a little bit um, strange I think I caught the flu I made a test I don't have corona it's just a normal flu I guess a lot of people are hit at the moment with the flu because um, yeah we were all wearing the mund mask for quite long, disinfected our hands constantly, and I guess a lot of people don't have any resistance anymore. And unfortunately, I seem to be one of them. <laughs> I 
but don't worry, I will be sorted again. So this is now my interference gold. And I'm just pouring on top and next to it, uh, on top of my black mix and next to my black mix. Just also in a rather thin stream. And then I'm taking my clear resin and I'm filling up my mold. I'm just trying to push out the colors right to the edges, you see how I'm doing it. And this is my mold, rather um, filled up. It's not full, full, but it's pretty full. Let's say maybe half a millimeter or one millimeter to the rim. And now I'm altering my colors again. First my black super shift mix. And the samba mix is also um, sort of greenish, a berry color and a little bit brownish copper. So it's very beautiful in the black. And now I'm having here my interference gold again. And again, the black mix. I just like to alter the colors. And you need to make sure you have rather a lot of colors there so they can really drag to the center. Yeah, I wished I could film um, the whole process when, when it's really dragging to the center, but unfortunately my my mobile phone is so full that I don't have the capacity, capacity, you know what I mean, <laughs> to to make this film. But there will be a time when I'm doing this because I find it always very interesting when the resin is really dragging to the center. And here I'm taking my mix with the champagne glass bits and the black mussel pieces or shell pieces. I'm just putting this into my center. I'm doing this rather chunky to be able to, um, yeah, so it looks also more natural, I think. And then I'm just dripping a little bit of resin on top to make the glass bits go a little bit aside also. And I'm putting the rest of them into the center so I don't waste any of these awesome shells. And that's basically my pour done, just a quick torch. And then it's just a matter of waiting. <laughs> so this is what the resin did. Um, yeah, we are around about 40 minutes later. And look how it's really, yeah, dragging to the center, making these little um, lines, these striations. And I'm really happy with this, I must admit. It's really looking very gorgeous. The colors are awesome. And this is actually a quarter to three early in the morning or, or in the middle of the night. And I set my alarm because I needed to get this out of the mold. If I waited any longer, it would have been maybe too hard. <laughs> so I got up and yeah, took this out of the mold, my resin piece. And I'm very curious. I'm sorry for the light, but like I said, it's the middle of the night. And I'm taking this out. And look at these striations. I, I love them. And I'm curious how it's going to look on the other side. Just getting my mold away, taking my bowl, and let's have a look. And look at that. 
I'm really amazed. And the shine was a holographic and, and just the effects it made. Wonderful. I, I really adore this piece. Also with the crackle effect at the sides. And I think it fits very well in the fantasy mode. And look at the center. Yeah, and now I'm having a little bit struggles again. Pressing this into my bowl, my, my resin piece. It's always like this. But I finally got it sorted. And I always put a little bit of um, silicone spray into my mold so it's easier for unmolding. And look at that. Now there's coming the close up while it's in the ball. And I'm amazed. I'm really amazed with the uh, striations it, it made. It's beautiful. And I love the combination, um, having it um, natural, but also the holographic effect. And this is now in the evening later and I can get my baby out of the mold. I'm quite happy with this. Look at that. Isn't the bow gorgeous? With this, I love and leave you, and I hope you like my end result. If you did, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would be very happy if you would do. And I'm looking forward to any comments. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.